what we have to do is determine which of the two models is more likely to have generated the novel. Right? So what we would do is something like he of Trollope given a particular novel, novel yeah, equals P uh, Trollope novel over particular novel. And then this here, basically. And um, yeah, at that point, then you you have to fill in the facades and adas and everything. Um, and basically, there's one of these for Trollope and one of these for whichever is greater. That's how you would group it into these two pieces. And those are the easy parts of the problem because these are just really just estimation cases, right? Okay, so um, given this corpus of anonymous novel, anonymized novels, um, specify the update rule of the EM algorithm. So this is harder, obviously. And it's that much. Um, okay. All right, I can erase this, right? Actually, you know what, I'm going to mute this and write on the board for five minutes. Okay, so, um, so for novel I, um, although actually I said J, didn't I? Okay, we'll do that. Alpha J equals P of um, Trollope. given my current parameters. And my parameters in this case are eta, lambda, trollope, lambda, vacuum. Um, sorry, over P of xj. My notation's already wrong, so it should be happy. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so all I'm doing here is computing the mixture model. Does this belong to um, one case or the other? And then again, now you can multiply this, you know, you can get this out where we have our estimate. Yeah, well, however you want to consider theta and theta prime or in any case, but you know, you have your ratas and your products in here of, of Poisson's. I, I, you know, this is, uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, actually, I'll give you the top numerator here. So it's basically eta, assuming that eta was Trollope, which it's not, you have to reverse it. Um, Yeah, and the problem, I think I said, I think it's a Thackeray. Yeah, yeah Thackeray. One minus eta. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the product of, you know, lambda, trollop, x, i, e to the minus, you know, blah, trollop, right, over x. I don't remember y, j, whichever way I over normalize it to the eta and the one minus eta. Okay. And then based on that, you can compute the log likelihood. Um, there's there's a denominator here. I don't want you to think it's just the eta and the one minus eta, the same version, right? You you can see this, right? Okay. And then you just have your, so this is, 
for a given, so this is essentially this, the probability part of the EM, where I'm computing for every given, every given novel, what's the probability of it being partially for all of them partially factory. And then my Q function of theta, theta prime, or whatever you like. Unfortunately, I think my notation's off and I don't have the problem in front of me anymore. But it's alpha i log p trial of x i given theta plus um, 1 minus alpha i log p factory given x i And then you can go ahead and put your equations in for all these different pieces. So your thetas and I know it's really just the, that's the thing that sucks. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, so you end up with uh, you know these are these are products. It ends up being a sum, and you you have a bunch. You have an expression for that, and then basically you just have to take the derivative for each individual component and get update rules for the three. Um, obviously the update rules for Trollope and Thackeray lambdas are pretty, they're pretty much the same thing twice, right? Just one minuses and things like that. And that is, I mean, it's pretty much the standard EM, right? Is that I learn some parameter for the mixture and then I update my, uh, my model parameters based on the current mixture. And let me just see, wait, before I. Oh, and then writing pseudocode 